Yo, what is going on everybody? My name's Dusky and we're here playing some Hardcore Tarkov. And this is going to be my first attempt at this challenge. The rules for this challenge are as follows. Rule number one. I cannot purchase weapons, modifications, armor, ammo, or medication from the dealers with money. Rule number two. I am allowed to barter for equipment, so I may not be able to buy anything from the traders with money, but I can take items that I found in raid and barter them for other items through the traders. Rule number three. No flea market. The flea market is completely off limits to me. Rule number four. The secure container is only used for holding keys. I cannot put anything else in the secure container. Rule number five. In raid and task money can be used to purchase armor repairs and any container in the game. So like I said, I can repair armor with money, but I cannot use it to buy anything. Except for containers. Rule number six. In raid and task USD being American money can be used to complete missions. Rule number seven. Mission specific items such as markers, jammers, and cameras can be bought using in raid money. Rule number eight. No scavenger raids. So I cannot play as a scavenger. It's completely off limits. Rule number nine. Only play with other hardcore players. So basically I have to play by myself unless the person that I'm playing with is also doing this hardcore challenge. Rule number 10, no assistance from friends or other players. Rule number 11, cannot insure any item. So basically with this challenge, I have to find everything I'm going to use in the raid and I can't buy anything from the traders at all. This is my main account that I have been playing on, but as you can tell, I reset it to level one and I deleted all the starter equipment, even the money. We have zero rubles, zero euros, and zero dollars. So I have literally nothing to go into the raid with, not even a melee weapon. So we're gonna be going in with nothing but our fists. And let me explain the map, how I'm gonna be playing this a little bit. So basically, I'm gonna be going into customs first because customs is where I believe the first tasks are. Uh, but say next I want to go to Shoreline. Instead of just jumping from Customs to Shoreline, I'm going to have to go in the order of the maps. I'm going to have to go and play Factory, extract from Factory, then go and play Woods, extract from Woods Alive, and then be able to go to Shoreline. Vice versa if I want to go the other way. So that's how I'm going to have to be playing it. Like it's all one big open world map and they're all connected. Alright, let's see if I have any tasks. Let's accept all of these tasks really quick. Accept that one. Accept this one. Okay, or do that, except fence does not have any skier, don't have any until level 5, I believe that's it, right? Yeah, okay, so we have two tasks, find or kill scavs at customs, hand over two MP133 shotguns, and find five salute kits. So we, we know what we need to do, so let's jump into customs and get this started. Customs, we'll go daytime. All right. Let's go. All right. Oh, I can't even punch. Oh, this is going to be shitty. Huh. All right. Um, goal number one, find a weapon. Find a working gun. Other steal one off a dead body some other player kills or, you know, find one in a box or something. Piece one together somehow. We'll figure it out. Ooh. Perfect. Painkillers. I needed those. And a bandage? Oh, looking out for me. What is this? Ah, oh, see? Can't you can't put anything in the gamma container, so I can't carry that. So right now I have four single slots. All I can do is put stuff in my pockets. Um that's nice to find meds though. At least we have something in the form of meds. Not gonna do much for us, but we'll we'll be able to stop bleeding and fix a broken leg. And I think my best option is to actually head for the hills over on that side of the road and uh, wait to hear some gunfire and then kind of navigate towards it. Maybe find a weapon that way. Oh yeah, sorry about my voice. I am sick right now, so if you hear me coughing or like sniffling and you know, th that explains why. I'm sick and it absolutely sucks. I mean, I literally am like dying over here a little bit, but hey, it's all good. We got Tarkov to uh, help me feel better. Don't mind me. I'm a weaponless man. I can do you no harm. I literally, I can't, I can't do anything. I couldn't even punch a dude if, I, if he was standing in front of me. You know, I haven't heard a single gunshot yet. Basically, if I see another player right now, my only option for survival is to run away. <laughs> like, literally, I... Ooh, med box. Search this real quick. Yeah, I can't do damage to another player in any way, shape, or form right now, so I'm completely useless. Was oh, this a cracker? Oh, it's another bandage. 
Honestly, that bandage is, has two uses, so it's better. Oh, well, we're doing pretty good on meds right now, as far as uh, bandages and painkillers. I could use an IFAC or something, or an AI too, at least. Let's see. Are there any scavs down there? There has to be. There's always scavs at the gas station. There's nothing I can really loot down there anyways. I mean, there is, but if there's a scav there, I'm, I'm, I'm screwed, you know? So basically, I think I'm going to head over to the two-story dorms, loot that up, and then if I don't hear any gunfire or anything over in the three-story, I'm going to move over there and try to loot some of those uh, weapons crates and everything and try to find a gun that way, or... Oh, I can I can uh, loot the the little boxes next to the tents too. Maybe find a gun in there. Yo, I love the rain. I love the atmosphere the rain creates, like dark and gloomy. This is what Tarkov should feel like. Not all bright and sunny, blue sky. That's just not right. Uh, what do you got for me? Anything worth a damn? DVD player. Another bandage. Now we got four bandage uses. Now this is gonna suck. I'm okay. I just need to be drinking all the liquid I come across so I can keep my hydration up. But there, what is that? Oh, just rubles. Okay, I'll take that. I need money. I need money to be able to repair the equipment that I find. I think the main way I'm gonna be getting money is from completing tasks and just finding it in cash registers or randomly around the map, like I found this. Oh crap! I can't have that in here. Shit. Um, honestly, I gotta discard that, because I can't, uh, I need all this more. Meds are more important than money right now. Oh, no! It's a car medical kit. I, I need this, like, badly, but I only have one slot pocket, so I'm gonna remember where that's at, and then if I, you know, I can get a bag off a scav or something, we might come back and pick that up, because that's important. Okay, that's sounds like it's getting closer. Okay, yeah, that's still over there by checkpoint, sounds like. I do not want to get spotted. Oh, see it? That's a player right there. I really hope he did not just see me. That was for sure a player. He's still up there fighting scavs, isn't he? I need to watch him. I need to see where he goes. That's him, isn't it? I'm like getting my face way closer to the monitor to be able to see that far. Yeah, he's crossing the road. He's like, he's over by the checkpoint. I see him. I see his little legs moving. Well, what do I do here? Um, honestly, I probably just fall back to a different part of the map to see what I can do. I really want to loot his leftovers is what I want. Dude, if I had a knife or something, I would I'd consider trying to sneak up on this dude. There's a crate right here, a weapons crate. <gasps> scap, 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 scap. <gasps> Yeah, this is an extraction point for me? Well, that's nice to know, but I don't want to extract right now. I want to get the hell out of Dodge so that scav don't kill me. I'm lucky he's only a pistol scav. Loot this really quick. I want to loot that weapons crate, but I need to I need to leave this area for a minute until that scav stops following me. Oh, another one! Oh, that hurts. I found two of those bastards already. I need those, man. All that shooting going on over here, there's got to be some bodies laying around somewhere. I see a body. See him right there on the side of the road over there? That must be a body. Right over there, at the end of that road, is where I saw that player. And I was up on that hill over there. Oh, this is so risky. I need to do this. I have to do this. Oh, I hate having to examine everything. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I need this knife, too. I need this knife. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, we got a weapon. Oh, we're in business, ladies and gentlemen. We're in business. Okay. Now let's go pop this other scab over here, take his pistol, have two weapons. How about that? <coughs> yes. <gasps> Fucking scab. Getting laid out. Oh my god, I have been having to examine everything. It's the one thing I don't like about fresh wipes or restarting the account. It's the main thing I don't like. I need to get out of this road. Let's 
Search this again, grab this car medical kit. That was the player. It had to have been. I mean, it could have been a scav. It could have been. All right, let's not rule that out. Jesus Christ, bro. It was a scav. I almost failed that. Oh, I need everything you've got, good sir. Oh, he's got body armor. You're looking out. That's why he took one of the shotgun shells, is because of the body armor. It makes sense now. A bigger bag, too. I hate having to examine everything. Just takes way longer. All right. Oh, I'm so lucky. Oh my God, I'm so lucky I didn't die right there. See what I mean? See what I mean about that it taking too long bullshit? May it sound like I was just being paranoid, huh? Huh? No. No. Valid reason. Shit. Please heal that leg up, please. <coughs> oh, I'm in the same position. I feel unsafe now. Oh my gosh, come on. Oh, come on. Where are you? The key in there, we'll examine that later. What the f frick? Why was he laughing like that? What the hell was that? Dude, I have never, in all my time playing this game, heard a scab laugh like that. That was a creepy laugh, man. Oh, you're the SKS dude, huh? Didn't mean to throw that on the ground, but I, it's what it is. The uh, SKS is more important to me, I'm going to be honest. Just because um, I don't need a chest rig to be able to use it. That's literally the main reason. Alright, I think it's about time to start heading out of here. I kind of want to go check that body over there that was on the road. It's risky. It really is risky. What was in the pocket? I still want to know. Key? Nope. Cigarettes? Well, risk my life for cigarettes. Awesome. Where's that body at? There it is. Oh, there's another body there. Okay, yeah, I need to clear this area before I do anything. Two bodies. Oh, they have weapons on them. It's looking good, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Okay. You know? Oh. 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 Dude. Dude. You know, I need to be watching out. This is a lot of loot just sitting here. Oh, and a grenade. Oh, it's like it's looking out for me, man. Giving me all this good loot on my first match of the Hardcore Challenge. What is this, man? You guys are being too generous. Yes. I do need this. Oh. Good amount of ammo. Ammo is like gold right now. Slowly work our way back over here. Oh my god, dude. What? Oh. Bro. Oh, and you're full of stuff too? What do you got? Magazines. Oh my gosh, there's so much good stuff to be had here. Get rid of this. Two tri zips. <laughs> Alright, I'm getting out of here. Like, I could not ask for more on uh, the first raid of a freaking hardcore challenge. This is ridiculous, man. You know, one thing I don't understand is why people take the rear sights off of the guns. I mean, I do understand the argument as into where you can see more of your sight picture and actually be able to aim a little bit easier. 
or, or faster because you know you don't have the backside blocking it. But I find that at a little bit of range, my shots are not accurate at all when I take the rear sight off. Maybe I'm just not, you know, compensating for, you know, whatever I need to be co compensating for with that, but I hate it, man. It just, when the rear sights aren't on guns, it, just, it fucks with me. It really does. I'll get over it, because I'm kind of forced to with this hardcore challenge, but normally I just buy a rear sight and throw it on there, but it is what it is. Um, nope, I'm, I got so much loot. I got so much loot for the first raid. Dude, that is a successful first raid of the Hardcore Challenge. I'm going to clap for myself. Thank you very much. Yeah, geez, guys, look at this. Like, I couldn't have asked for more loot on the very first Hardcore raid. Two tri-zips, seven working guns, magazines for all of them, three grenades, meds, ammo. Like, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. I feel great right now. That was, that was a great raid. Four. Okay, I need to kill one more scav and get two shotguns. Let's just take a 36 stack. Whoa. Fucking sniper scav. Can you not do that shit? Whoa. No, I'm not gonna try him right now. I'm gonna wait until he loses aggro. Stops freaking looking at me and then I'll shoot him. I want to make it in that building, but I have to make a run from here to there without him shooting me. Oh, is he not looking at me now? Stupid ass. What? Where'd my bullets go? See, that that is what I'm talking about with this whole no rear sight thing. At range, the where do the bullets go? Where are they going? I'm pretty sure I just shot like four shots in a freaking scab. Can he see me back in here? This would be a perfect place to take a shot from. Please do not just shoot me in the face. He's looking right... Wait till he's not looking at... Yep, see what I mean? He totally can see in here. Good thing I didn't just inch out a little bit more. I would have just got shot. What do we have here? Um... Really? That really just happened? What is this? A super scav or something? What, do I have to aim high or something? I don't... <coughs> Finally, fuck. I guess I have to aim high with this no uh, rear sight bullshit. I guess the key is to just aim high. I wonder if scavs spawn over here right now. Scavs used to spawn over here and then they kind of stopped spawning over here, so I don't really... Doesn't look like there's any scabs over here. So can anyone answer me, what is the point of this back little gas station there? Never mind. I totally, um... I just don't even want to talk about it. You know? All of a sudden the map comes alive, dude. Now there's shooting everywhere. Drop that little bastard. <sighs> I did not mean to lay down right there. I meant to sprint. But, uh, <laughs> I have the control as my, um, my prone key, so I can kind of drop shot people like that. Not gonna lie, when that scav came out of the woodwork, started shooting at me, I kind of shit myself a little bit. I just slammed my pinky finger down and made me lay down. I, dude, because I looked, I didn't see anything. I jumped down here, I was literally about to say, what's the point of this back gas station area since the scavs don't spawn here anymore and they're bigger than shit. Scav comes out to correct me. <coughs> oh boy, how am I? Oh boy. Like, I love the AS Val and all, but I literally can't even use it. There's mags and ammo for this, so. Yeah, I know, seems pretty stupid. Feels pretty stupid having to drop that on the ground right there, but hey. Right now, in this challenge, it makes perfect logical sense. Did I not grab an, oh. I guess we, I don't know, I thought I grabbed a knife last time, but I guess I didn't. <laughs> I really... I'm gonna die in a second. This is not good. Run, 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 run. Of course, and I catch one bullet in the back. I knew that was gonna happen.
Damn it, dude. You win some, you lose some, I guess, right? I feel like I should have just stood and fought that dude instead of running away. Running away was like signing my death ticket. Dude, dropped him like a sack of potatoes. Holy shit. He literally just disappeared. There he is. Dead and all. Is that one of the shotguns I need? I don't think it is. I think it's the, uh, that's the semi-auto one. I need the pump action shotgun. Fuck it, you only live once, right? Well, I guess not Tarkov. I guess you live multiple times and... Need a new mag. Need a new mag right now. How the hell? What just happened? I'm very confused right now. Where did that scav I just shot go? That one's dead. Was that the same scav? I don't feel like it was. He, that must have been- How'd he get over there that fast? God damn, dude, I was in such a hurry, because I thought he was going to turn and start- like, turn and try to fight me, that I just threw my mag on the ground. Which was a mistake. I'll be honest. You in there, you there. I don't know how that scav got over there that quick. These scavs are on some weird glitchy bullshit right now. That tree scared the fuck out of me. See how it just dips behind the wall? It looked like it was somebody like peeking and they just dipped back behind the wall for a second. Keep my ears peeled, if that even makes sense. I gotta listen for footsteps. If I hear anybody on the floor above or below, I'm dipping. I'm just gonna run out of here. I'm not trying to fight him right now. I'm trying to collect and build my arsenal before I try to get into too many PMC fights. What are you doing, dude? Jesus Christ. Less than half, so... How many have we got in here? There's definitely another scab in here. I heard him. He was talking to his cheeky breaky. Okay, let's switch mags real quick. Dude, that scared the crap out of me. Was this- there's no way this was a scav. This had to have been a player scav. Had to have been a player scav. It was sneaking up on me. You know what I mean? That was, that was a player scav, because it has a pouch slot. Okay. Somebody was in here, because that door's not normally open. Yeah, I'm not gonna sit there and search for that scav, not in the close quarters like that. Not when I have a sniper rifle. I know I have the AK and everything, but I just feel way more safer fighting out here where it's open and I can see farther rather than in those tight quarters. Come on. Whoa! It wasn't letting me walk, man. I kept hitting freaking C to stand up and it was like blocking me. If I can kill these two scabs, loot them, I'm gonna get out of here and call it good. Dude, this- I freaking love this gun, bro. It just puts them down, man. Not the shotgun I need. Okay, thank you. Oh, I got a Taz, a little Taz warrior over here. No wonder he barely did any damage to me when he was shooting me. Okay, I got him on that last one. 
All right, I'm getting out of here. I got loot. I'm feeling pretty good. I didn't get any of the shotguns I need for my quest. So that sucks. Other than that, I got so much loot on me, I don't even want to take a chance of losing it. So we're going to try the RUAF roadblock really quick. And if not, we're going to head over to the trailer park. Just get out of here. Come back in and try to get those shotguns again. It may take me a while. You know, I haven't seen a single scab with one of those shotguns that I need yet. Something good? Magazine? Nope. Okay, cool. Perfect. All right, we're getting out of here. So long, customs. You treated me well today. All right, we're level four and a half, almost five. Cool. You know, honestly, this is a pretty good start to the hardcore challenge. I mean, I've already got all of these guns, all this loot, some med items, you know, some bags, some chest rigs. I'd say this is a pretty successful start, at least for episode one. Episode two, we're definitely going to get on these tasks, finish both of these tasks if we can. We got one silhouette kit. Just need to find two MP133 shotguns and we should be good to go. Oh.